Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and uh, time once again for my pseudo cast. And um, before I get into this, I'm having me a can of V8 Energy Pomegranate Blueberry flavored. Okay, and the music. Um, I've listened to this before. Um, I mean. I think last night sounds pretty cool. And interestingly, or this is called Quest Master. Lost Songs of Distant Realms, uh, Volumes 1 and 2, full album, Out of Season. Okay. <clears throat> Wonder if that's another way of them saying out of print. But, but anyway, let me... I'm gonna need to kind of sound test this. say close enough. Actually, no, let me turn it on a little bit. This will be on the safe side. Um, <clears throat> but otherwise, uh, today, today was a pretty bad day. This is all I've been doing. Just sitting on my duff, watching TV. And then, um, taking like a one hour nap. Waking back up, sitting on my butt, watching more TV, laying down for another nap. So, yeah, so this, yeah, this was a very unfulfilling day right here. It just, it, it really ticks me off too because I'm on vacation this week and technically today or last night slash this morning was the last day of it. So it, I really, it really ticks me off when uh, I have to go through stuff like this. But, <clears throat> to, but to be, in my defense, though, um, yesterday morning, I had a hell of a time trying to, or I, hell, I couldn't sleep at all. Really, I laid on maybe like a, for like a moment or two, and then all of a sudden, I have somebody who's doing some uh, roof work, right in the ceiling, right above me. So making all kinds of racket, just boom, 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 you know. And then poor me, unable to get any sleep. So so yeah, a little wonder why. Like I said, little. Hey, I'm. I haven't quite mastered this yet, but little wonder why I was just doing, just going back and forth, uh, cause, um, at night when I sleep, I have to avoid sleeping like the full, you know, the full seven, eight hours. I have to avoid doing that. So I got to set my alarm for like an hour cause I'm, I'm still trying to, I'm trying to keep my body conditioned to sleep during the day, not at night. Because that's my body's first impulse, is to sleep at night, not during the day. So I I have to try to restrict restrict my naps to like one hour. So so yeah, just this or aside from, aside from me putting together the pseudo cast, this is all I pretty much did. So. Um, but aside from that, as far I nothing I nothing I wrought, watched really stood out, and those that were around for our yesterday's cast, um, this guy here, Chris Harbor, he put he put together an off the grid house, like yeah, like he lives off the grid, but interestingly, he's not like. He doesn't like live out completely in the boonies or anything. Like he's got some electronic stuff. Like he, you know, he's, he's got a computer out there, and he's, I think he has a microwave, refrigerator. But uh, I think um, all of his electricity comes from this little hydroelectric or this little hydroelectric plant that he has out out back. Like he's got like a little, he built a little mini waterfall 
where our water rushes in and gives him power and all that. He has a... He built a turbine in his backyard that uh, gives him the electricity he needs. So, so, I mean, so yeah, it wasn't a... So, like I said, he's not living like a... Like a total, complete redneck, like, you know, like something you'd see in Deliverance. No, not like that at all. So, but, uh... One episode I did see of his... <laughs> he's a, he's a, he actually made a compost toilet. Like, yeah, he's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna use his own piss and shit to... To fertilize his crops, I guess. And... But right, right when I saw this... Matt Damon shit potatoes first came to mind. <laughs> he's gonna make potatoes with his own shit. So yeah, um, but but yeah, I'm I'm liking the channel though. He actually uh, not quite good at this yet. So, but um, uh, and kind of an inter kind of a interruption here. But this whole this whole uh, using uh, using images, using other images is very new to me. Normally I would just I would just have the music that I'm playing and just talk you know talk over that, but it just it just got good to me doing doing it like this. <clears throat> so, but I'll but there'll be uh there's more on this later though. So. But um, and uh, some other things I was trying to do in between maps. Um, I played, uh, played some Balloons Tower Defense 6, but couldn't really play that for long periods. Um, this is a game I started playing a few days ago. I really like it. Um, but these are, uh, these games tend to be kind of long. Um, the goal on the, the goal in this game is you got, you have a stack of, like, 50 hexes, and you have to, you have to match you have to match the scenery and um it it doesn't show in this game but uh you have to complete various quests like you have to chain together at least like 20 houses for example at least 20 houses or 100 trees that kind of thing and whenever you do that um you're given a you're given additional tiles to work with and just it's basically survival mode you have to play this game for as long as possible until you run out of tiles. But uh, though, as you can tell here, though these these games here, they they already do tend to run pretty long. So, but I mean, but back to old Chris though, um. I think I did watch, um, I think it was the second video that he ever did, and he was explaining why he's doing what he's doing, and the, the short answer, just a return to nature. You know, probably just him, um, like, like myself at times, but he, I'm not, I'm not much of an outdoorsy person anyway, but, you know, I totally get what he means, it's just, you know, everyday life. So stressful. You know, your your daily job, your your daily coffee at Starbucks, your daily this, your daily that, your daily the other, this whole you know, trying to trying to stay out of debt or trying to pay off debt, you know, just all the stresses that come with urban life. He just he was just tired of it and he just wanted to he just wanted to live out in the country. He just Wanted to live out in a totally self-sustaining. He wanted a self-sustaining lifestyle, so just living off the grid. But uh, I, I mean, I, I love what he's doing though, and uh, he does. And I forgot to mention this yesterday, but he started doing this. I think um. Oh, how far back does it go? I think his uh, his first ever video goes back like seven years. When he talked, when he when he talked about why he's doing this. So yeah, it's a 
it's pretty much a seven year process for him. Oh, speaking of that, and there was another video I watched of his. I forgot to I forgot to add it to this video, but he was uh he's he was planting twenty five hundred trees. Yeah, like twenty five hundred of them. The guy's trying to grow a freaking forest. Uh, but he was like trying to he was he was trying to plant an apple orchard, he was trying to plant a bunch of oak trees, he's trying to plant a bunch of other trees as well. I think he also said he wanted to take up beekeeping as well. You know, making his own honey. So he's trying to do that as well. But yeah, this is some it's some cool shit to watch though. I mean personally I could never do this. Most certainly not against it, but I'm I'm an indoorsy kind of person. I'm not really much of an outdoorsman at all. Like, um, I think my when I was a little kid, my cousin took me out fishing. He was, you know, showing me how to cast and everything, and I'm just kind of just holding the pole out in front of me like, I don't get it. Can we go home and play the Atari? You know, or can we go home and play the Coleco? Or the Coleco Vision? You know, so I'm, I've been a gamer ever since I was a little kid, so the, the great outdoors just kind of goes over my head. So, but, but, but that aside, I, I like watching this. And, um, I guess since I'm on the subject and, and, um, there was a, yeah, I'm not even going to try and bother pulling this up, but, uh, I thought I'd be able to, but it's just more trouble than it's worth. There actually was, there actually was another, um, off the gritter. I watched one of his videos. I think it was called, like, oh, what was it? Like, Outlines and Inlines or something like that, but, but, but hey, I'd be damned if you didn't have the, have the strongest Canadian accent ever, eh? I mean, it was, I swear it was like, it was totally like uh, listening to Bob and Doug McKenzie all over again, eh? But yeah, he had like, he had like the deep north, the deep north Canadian accent, like, kind of totally out there, like, he's like, um, if they ever decided to make a Fargo movie out there in Canada, he'd, he'd be a prime candidate. He'd be one of the first one. He'd be one of the first ones cast, eh? You know that kind of thing. I'm like, damn. But I think, but kind of like um, uh, kind of like Chris Harbour though. This guy, he also had some other. He also had some uh, technology. He had some technology in his house as well. So, but again, this he, it totally shattered my stereotype because I'm used to. You know, because I'm used to the, um, I'm used to the mountain man kind of, you know, like somebody who is, you know, 100% totally off the grid, like, you know, like no, no technology at all, or, you know, like this kind of guy, mountain man. You know, like, you know, no, you know, not even electricity. Like, he, he well and truly lives off the land. That's what I'm, I mean, that's what I'm used to seeing when I hear of people, like, living off the grid and whatnot. So, yeah, but no, these, but these ones that I'm, you know, these ones that I'm watching, you know, they got, they got some tech going, too. Um, but otherwise, kind of like what I did yesterday, I'm going to explain a little behind the scenes in making this, but, uh, it, this isn't, it's, it's starting to become more of a compulsion now. I mean, originally this is just going to be a one-off project just to say that I could do it, but once I started, uh, I guess I'm getting better at it. Think that's the phrase I'm looking for? Cause um when you're when I'm watching people like you know Emperor Lemon, you know, watching his videos, um watching uh various other videos that are like really you know, really super produced and everything. Just I guess I guess high production value would be the phrase that I'm looking for. I'm sitting here 
watching stuff like this, I'm like, there is no freaking way I'd be able to do something like this. So, but, yeah, it seems I'm starting to get better at it. I mean, I'm not, not enough to where, not enough to where I'm doing like, you know, actually putting in, you know, full videos and stuff like that, full, full gifts. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. It's just, it's just way too much editing, too much uh, jumping through hoops involved. You know, it's like, I mean, this here, I actually get, it, this is just, it's a browser tab, is all it is. This is just the results of a, of a Google search. It's the best I could find at the time. So yeah, with a, with this super tiny, super tiny image that I, I can't, I couldn't figure out how to enlarge it or anything. So you know, you got this massive black border around it. So. But. And, um, I did, I also tried looking for some more, uh, some, um, some slideshow software that could uh, that could uh, it would help me uh, do this do this a lot easier. Cause right now, I think I probably have close to thirty windows open, thirty windows open right now. Just, you know, just uh, you know, just to be able to do all this. Yeah, I need a. But yeah, like I said, I've got close to 30 windows open right now. Just um, just to be able to do uh, do this, I basically have a big switchboard right in front of me. I'm using my OBS program and just switching back and forth between sources. So yeah, compared to compared to a lot of others. My setup is very ghetto. And uh, I said this yesterday too. Um, what Another reason why is I have a... I also have Microsoft Photos. It it could... It's kind of more what I'm looking for. And more of uh, what I'm... What I'm trying to... more Or more closer to how I want to make these. How I want to produce these. But the problem is, is my OBS software... This program here it doesn't recognize it all I get is a black screen <clears throat> and uh, I have looked online for other um uh, for like a uh, slideshow like slideshow programs but they're not they're not giving me what I'm looking for and uh, and a lot of these two I have to skip a lot of them because they require you to create an account first and uh, there's a uh, there's some of them that actually want you to Oh, how, they act, they want you to create an account, and I know of one where you actually they they actually want your credit card info before you can download the free version. And I'm like, eh, nope. I smelled a scam immediately. I mean, it, it, it's one of those cancel any time deals. But I mean, why would I want to go through that trouble? You know, especially true if the software I get afterwards sucks. Then that just I mean, as lazy as it might sound, that's just more effort on my part that I have, you know, I have to uninstall the program now. And on top of that, they now know my credit card info. So, yeah, so definitely a no-go on that. Um, but <clears throat> otherwise, um, I, uh, that's going to do it for me, though. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say today. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, but thanks uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody, though. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming around and see you all next time. Bye now.